welcome back to another video so if you've not been in this room before this is my gear and editing room where all sort of behind the scenes magic happens now i've done a video on what's included in, in this gear room or most of it anyway the pc setup anyway and when i was building it um, i needed a way to get power into it so um i was sent the blue Eti power station which i did a review of which i'll leave up here for you now uh but um all powers have since contacted me and it's come at just the right time because i'm actually rewiring my shed at the moment i've been sort of learning how to do electrics and things like that and in the uk you need uh, an electrical safety certificate so i've done all the wiring and just not connected it to the house at the moment so there's no power to my shed which is what i used to previously film a lot of my review videos in um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what's in this box behind me and that one and then we're going to go and show you what it does and what it's capable of why i needed it why i picked it up and how it's going to make my life so much easier when i'm camping and obviously until i get this shed fully rewired okay so we're going to start off with the smaller box so this is a solar panel for it which is going to be quite large in there so you can see all powers logo there a little velcro retainer so you can stand it up with no shoe like so in this front pocket maybe that front pocket it is so we've got some uh four on connectors and then so you can connect it to a, a car battery same way uh, many different adapters for charging more photon connectors to a power supply and then photon connectors connecting directly to the solar panel on the inside these are going to be handy for obviously out and about on the go family camps that sort of thing but as i said at the minute i'm going to be using it to power my shed undo these two reclaiming cl clips open up and then you've got a double solar panel should attract plenty of light except not here in yorkshire <laughs> yeah i'm quite impressed with that it's got its own stand there own stand there so you've got the option of two or three different setups so that's just the solar panel we'll open up the box take a look at the unit stick it on charge and I'll show you some of the uses that i've found right, now we're going to open up the big beastie box I think this is 1400 watt should be quite a big unit capable of powering everything that I need to do in the shed until I can connect it to the house all powers, packages and accessories. Put this knife away, a bit of knife safety. Get a little warranty card. And yeah, destruction manual. So we'll have a look at that quite briefly because I can't remember the actual model. So this is portable power station. Uh, model APSS0009 or the S2000 going through you get the unit an AC cable and it's uh, nice and simple get to know your generator some real-time LCD displays all that kind of thing and uh, it works off an app as well so that'll be cool so I'll be able to power it up without even going into the shed we'll pop that back in there for now and we'll have a look at that later on just get the unit out have a look at that shadow foam That'll come in handy later on so it's quite a big unit have a close look at that in a second get a little pouch you can see me open there on that just I got a bit interrupted was the storage bag that comes with it a bit of a full of a base just protect the base keep it 
nice and dust free and then also another little packet with the two cables in there so you got the cable to charge it via mains and then also via a 12 volt uh, car lead as well uh, so let's go through uh, the actual unit itself as you can see on the front we've got one two three four ac outputs here we've got another 12 volt socket so a cigarette lighter socket as most people commonly know it got four universal usb ports and two usb type c's got a ac dc buttons and then this is for your four on connectors into the solar panel that we haven't put, had a look at so going to be a bit beastie as we can see as i said earlier it does work off an app which i'll try and show you but i'm currently filming on my phone uh, so i'll try and show you that in a little bit more detail later on let's uh, turn it on so this is straight out of the box comes 75 percent charged and so we've got the four outputs there usb outputs Yeah, so the DC turns it on, the USB and the 12 volt AC. I'm assuming once you've got something in there, uh, it will activate on there. All right, welcome to my little man cave tinkering shed. Now, as you can see, I like to have things quite organized. But we are still a bit of a mess because I need to get rid of all of this. Okay, so we're in the shed. Now, as you can see here, I've wired in a consumer unit up to spec. Uh, we're lighting a main so socket. So we've got the socket ones going up here. All around, just quite evenly spaced. So that I've uh, got the option of being quite flexible when I'm doing that and I've also got the lighting circuit that's going up there with a white ring on there coming out to one two three different lights now none of it works at the moment I've got a little plug tester in there look and that's because we're not connected to the house via mains power and that's where this is where the main comes into the shed and goes down the side there and then up onto the fence to cleat and I'll show you where that tails off all in conduit down here running down the fence and then along the side of the wall down into the gate there through the gate post out to here and then underground back up in a little whisking split there back up and you can see the tails are just dangling at the minute because they're not connected into the house right, so hopefully you can see that i've not connected the electric up to this shed um due to the uk um safety certificate that i need for it so i'm waiting on an electrician to come uh, check the wiring and then make that final connection before i do it uh, so yeah i've got the all power station just at the side of me here now what i've quickly done is i've quickly disconnected one of the lights from here look and then I've just thrown a plug end onto it here just so that we can get it into the all powers just for now. And then I've got my drill press set up behind me, so I'm going to try powering both at the same time and do a little right. bit of drilling. So hopefully you might be able to see it on camera. I'll shut the door. And you can see just how dark we are in here now because I've shut the door. Now I can't see the buttons that I'm pressing, so I'm just going to have to fiddle about for a minute and feel. That's the power button, I believe. Yeah, so we've got the power button on. And then we put it on to, can't see what I'm doing, hang on. Right, so I've come into the shed now, you can't see, but I'm just about to plug the light in. Just there, look and we have power you can see that we've got the output there of 33 watts at 50 hertz that's just for the one bulb above me and then we're going to plug this in and then just drill a little hole in there right. now i've plugged in my little pillar drill 
and we're just going to drill the fossing a bit straight through this just putting a little hole in there with the power and what i'll do is i'll try and get a shot not just of me drilling but also of the power station and the consumption while it's in use so let's just turn it on So the wattage is now gone up to 200 watts. Just going to come down. Just to see if it goes up anymore. Gone to 188, so a bit lower. I'm just scoring it just because I don't want to go all the way through. I'll show you the power station while Here the drill's still on. This is the drill and this is the light above my head at the moment. Just gonna use it now. That's it, and we're through. So you can see the fluctuation in power usage is there. We've gone down a percent, but I've not charged this unit at all. So that is going to be more than adequate for anything that I need in my So shit. hopefully you can see that the power unit is still on. Uh, still got the drill plugged in, still got the light plugged in. So it's going to be more than adequate enough than what I need just to tinker about in my shed. So this is where all my little brainstorming ideas come together, which is where I've made a lot of things, uh, including the tool holders and stuff behind you. Let me yeah, just show you where them. Sort of my little tinkering shed comes in. All the little tools and stuff. You see the tool holders and stuff that I've made on the wall. Um, and then on the, the side behind me, I've made this drill stand, French cleated, and then I've got my racks. And you can see all the little French cleating I've got on the wall there, ready for some more space or some more tools to go in there. But yeah, that's uh, so I've just put the solar panel on the roof, which is just directly above my head here. Um, not quite south facing, but I've sort of lined it up with the solar panels on the houses next door, hopefully, same angle as them. So I'm going to charge this unit um, over the next day or two, and then I've got some power in my shed. Now, hope what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that out camping as well, uh, going to be doing a few different types of camps uh, coming up. Uh, so you know a few family camps and stuff so that'll keep the kids from whinging they can just bring the chargers for the phones you know have all four plugged in um so it'll be mine danielle's two girls tablets we can just keep everything charged you just stop the kids from arguing and getting bored while they're out although they don't get bored when they're out because they've always got something to do starting little fires and stuff safely a uh, bit of knife work that i sit and teach them sometimes cooking so yeah that's uh what I'm going to be using this power station for at the minute. It's also going to be handy. So if you are an electrician or something and you're out on a job site and you've got to kill the power, uh, you know, charge your tools and stuff while you're on the job site, that kind of thing. And obviously in an emergency, when we get a power cut, you know, run this inside, still charge the, uh, still use the kettle, still use the microwave, all that kind of thing. So absolutely brilliant. Well impressed with it. So we'll go through some of the specs. And then we'll finish off. I'm just using my daughter's phone so I can show you my phone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download the app. So I'm going to stick my camera on. And then up here you can see is the iOS's for, for Android and then Apple devices. So we're going to go to this one, click that. And then we've got the all powers up. We're going to install that. Wait for that to install. Alright, then we'll click open. I'm going to click Bluetooth device. So it says turn on your Bluetooth function. Make sure the phone's position turned on. After the short press on the Bluetooth button, turn on the screen and long press again to prepare. So we're going to connect now, hopefully, to this. Location services. No devices found. Click on phone. I've got Bluetooth on. I've got Bluetooth on. Bluetooth device. Hmm. 
and there we go, we've got the S2000 there. And you can see that we've got all of the same displays that we've got there, so 74%. Time remaining 38 hours, 35 minutes, or one day, 14 hours. Telling you the output and inputs and the AC, DC, so you can turn them on and off from here. That's pretty cool. Change up to 60 hertz. Nice. That's a pretty cool feature. Controlling it from where you sat. Love it. Well, this has been a quick review, overview, and usage of this and what I'm going to be using it for. But obviously, I will bring it back to the channel when I go out camping with it. Let you know how it fares. I've just read that it isn't waterproof, but I'll leave all the specs and stuff in the description down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know what you thought about it. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this. And I'll leave some more videos here for you. See you in the next one.